quarantine, and this is quarantine. Quarantine, 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 quarantine. quarantine. <laughs> Welcome back to the Demon Trash YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a real serious video now. No. Yeah, we're getting really serious. We're like serious, successful people now. We decided that we wanted to be rich <laughs> and successful. And we came across uh, this article of basically habits of successful people. We're yes. talking like Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Donald Trump. I'm just what? kidding. <laughs> no. There's so many habits that these people put in place, but the five that we tackled specifically were um, getting up early, working out, reading, meditating, and getting enough sleep. We did it for one week. We did it for seven days. Was it? Mm -hmm. yeah, seven, seven days. days. What? Whipping? Oh. Whoa. You need, that's the, what? No, this is macaroni in a pot. <laughs> All right. So the first one is obviously getting up early. Now, um, a lot of these people get up around 4 or 5 a.m. and <laughs> not for the demon trash sleuths. No, no, no. I haven't gotten up since 5 a.m. since middle school and I had to wake up and straighten every single hair on my head. I haven't woken up since 5 a.m. since my mom had to breastfeed me because I was like, <laughs> Waking up early, so we decided, all right, 5 a.m. isn't gonna work for us. It just doesn't work for our schedules in general because of just like her we work schedule. We live with other people and like we can't it just do like work. lights out at 9, 9 p.m. It's, it's just not or gonna like, work. What is it, like, that'd be like 8 p.m. Yeah, so we were like, okay, we're gonna get up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, Which was a struggle for us. I'm tired. Good morning. According to this article, there's some research done by a person named Corley. So Corley wrote this book called Change Your Habits, Change Your Life, and it's a best-selling book. You've probably even heard of it. According to his research, 50% of these self-made millionaires get out of bed at least three hours before their work day. And for most of them, that's probably around like eight o'clock, so they get up at five. We don't really have work days because, um, coronavirus! First up, I will say this. As much as it is a struggle because your girl was quarantining up and like, sleeping during the day and waking up at night. That was just like my life. So to switch to 6 a.m. <laughs> From waking up at usually like around like either 9.30 or noon. noon, that's like a big switch. It's not as terrible as you think it would be because watching the sunrise is so great. Yeah, honestly, seeing the sun like come Rising up in the morning- Rising with the sun is like- It's like so beautiful. It's such a special feeling. Like mm -hmm. I really did enjoy that. One thing that we definitely learned is that you don't really realize how much time you have in a day until you start waking up that early yeah. and starting your day that early. Were we successful every day? No. Well, it's 9.30 in the morning. Yeah. First day, I have not woken up at 6 a.m. Um, my alarm did go off at 6 a.m., but I had a migraine. I slept, but I kept wanting to get up so which normally i would feel like i would just give up on the day that is like totally a mentality i have especially in quarantine it's like if i don't start my day right then i just give up and i'll be like oh i'll try again tomorrow but i'm gonna do this day and do what i need to do and cross off my to-do list i'm leaving to go to maryland may i have your attention please the curb is not allowed <laughs> and towing will be We're going to definitely do these needles. habits apart <laughs> and not we having each other is the test, but we got this. Yes, we got it. it. Don't get COVID. <sighs> when she left, um, she left town in the middle of this challenge. I did not have a consistency partner. Yeah. And so therefore I woke up and it was quiet. It was calm. Mm -hmm. And I sat on this luscious, this luscious green velvet couch back here and fell asleep immediately. I look a hot mess. Okay, here's what happened. <laughs> I woke up at six, I did my to-do list, but it's so quiet because I'm the only one getting up this early now because Avery left town and 
I fell asleep looking at Instagram. So now I woke up again at 8.15, cuddled my dog, continued looking at my phone. It's 8.45 now, and I don't know if I cheated. <laughs> We'll call it a morning nap. Avery, you're probably not gonna see this until the, the actual edit or video, so sorry. <laughs> it's a nap. It's not a big deal. It's fine. I would say um, maybe try this with somebody. Yeah, I think it was definitely much easier like because we were doing it together, but it can also be bad too if your partner is not good. Which leads us into our next thing, which is the thing that we did first thing, wake up and work out. Corley's research says about 76% of his survey respondents carve out 30 minutes or more for aerobic exercise, like jogging, biking, or walking it each day. When you get a workout done at the beginning of your day, it pretty much frees up the rest it of your up day. It the rest of your day to do like work on everything And you're else. awake. Your endorphins are up because you worked out, so you, you have good. more energy, you're happier. And I probably imagine little trashlings out there watching this video that you are trying to be better in some capacity like we are so mm -hmm. you want to adopt these habits i'm assuming you're also trying to adopt healthier habits as well yeah so definitely working out first thing in the morning was choice yeah the next thing was either focused thinking or meditation and it's for at least 15 to 30 minutes a day. Here's what I'll say. I don't, I've always wanted to get into meditation, yeah. but I think it definitely takes practice and mm -hmm. some getting used to. I think for me, when we were meditating, I definitely did like guided meditations because I can't like sit down. Like if I, if I did that at that point, sit down just like in quiet, I'd probably like fall asleep. Grandma Avery over yeah. there. Meditation was super interesting to get into. I've been wanting to do it for a while because like, mm -hmm. I'm fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> I would say though, I did try a couple midday meditations and you'd think like, okay, I'm already getting like the afternoon slump. I'm tired, I've been up for a while. I've been doing a lot today. Meditation is probably not the thing I need to be doing. No, actually taking a moment to like do some meditation midday and like refocus your brain on what else you need to accomplish yeah. because there's so much daylight left in the day. Who would have thought that the sun was up for 12 hours like, a day? That so shit long. is nuts. That's crazy. I just like spit everywhere because it's so delicious how great this meditation is. She's uh, drooling. She's drooling. She's salivating. Salivate. Reading. And listen, guys, we don't mean Midnight Sun, even though <laughs> I definitely thought reading Midnight Sun could pass. Is that nonfiction? Only if you want it to be. Uh, whopping 88% of Corley's wealthy respondents say they devote 30 minutes or more each day to education or self-improvement through reading. This honestly was something I've been trying to do in my life for so long. And I don't know why, because it's such an easy thing to do, yeah. is to pick up a book. And my preferred time of reading was right before bed. Um, I would get in bed, curl up, book. <laughs> I ended up reading far more than 30 minutes because I ended mm. up really liking the books I read. I read Content Mavericks. I started Atomic Habits. So in a week, I was able to basically read, well, I did start two self-improvement books, but I was also reading Midnight Sun. So technically I got through two and a half books. That's crazy, wow. in one week. And Midnight Sun is like huge. I read the whole thing. <laughs> Actually, that's why I struggled to get up early some days because I stayed up way too late reading from Edward's perspective. Now, can you blame me? Y'all, we need self-help because of Twilight. You're not, I. are you not following? Like, do you not get it? I don't really have time for you bitches who think that this is a pointless podcast topic, but I'm here to tell you. It's not. It's not, this is relevant. This is more relevant than I'm ever. telling you, if I could go back to a point in my life where there was a fork in the road in which I had a choice of where, which way my life is going to end up. It was either not reading Twilight or reading Twilight. And that's what it was. Yeah, I read uh, Find Your F-Yeah by Alexis Rockley. And that's... It's I 
demonetized. But yeah, that one's super good. I didn't finish it because it's kind of a thick read, but um, I tried. It's I good. Ate. It's not like a bad thick read. No. It's just like has a lot it's, of exercise. Yeah, you have to do the exercises because I realize now when I do like that, I'll be like, oh, I'll go back and do them. And like you never do. So you have to do them like right then and there. I also, at the same time, I would listen to audiobooks on habits. So like on an, uh, another book about habits. So like I was kind of doing both. I was probably getting a little bit more than 30 minutes every day because I would listen to audiobooks and at the same time read at night. So yeah, reading before bed, honestly, better than looking at your phone or going to bed with TV because you're not gonna get proper rest, which is a part of the habit. An overwhelming 89% of self-made millionaires sleep seven or eight hours each night or more. So sleep is essential to success for sure, because if we didn't sleep properly, then we chances are we weren't gonna get Do up get with up enough energy and it's an endless enough energy and then the cycle. If you don't get up on time, then you don't have enough time to do all the stuff that you were supposed to do that day. Like I did that a few times. It's been one week since you looked at me. Kind of not a great day for this challenge. Carol ended up having a migraine, so I ended up also not getting out of bed, even though, you know, that's my fault. But I really should have gotten up at 6 a.m., but I didn't. I took it as an out, and I kind of really wish I did because I've been feeling behind, like, all day. Like, like I kind of do miss those, like, extra hours I was getting from waking up so early, so... Hopefully getting back on track tomorrow. Today has been a struggle on the successful habits. Sure, I I had a migraine, so I got up around 9, 9.30, I did a meditation, and you know, I've been trying to like stick to my to-do list every day, but today it just wasn't working out for me. Do successful people just decide, fuck it, I'm gonna, have a frozen pizza and do nothing for the rest of the day? Probably not, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I think it's interesting how these habits like can actually like change your life. I think that's the biggest thing. I was like, wow, there really is so much time in the day and I was just not taking advantage of it. Time really do be out here. <laughs> time must be out here just happening and like time is just now happening. I'm happening with it. You know what I mean? Wow. So those are our five habits. Some other things that are considered separate habits just that we did anyway and we'll just include those here. So part of that was making to-do lists or just like focusing on your goals. 80% of the wealthy are obsessed with pursuing goals. They refer to both daily and long-term goals regularly. I think a good thing that we did was every day Avery and I for demon trash stuff and even for our own individual things that we needed to get done. We sat together, we put out down a to-do list and set goals for the week and goals for the day of things that needed to get done and or we needed to work on getting done throughout the week. And even for the month, I can honestly say that every day I accomplished 90 to 100% of my to-do list. Yeah. And even for our weekly goals, we mm -hmm. blew them out of the water. We actually like really, really, we exceeded. <laughs> before we used to struggle so much for posting on social media. And now we have like a lot of stuff just like already made, already ready to go. And we don't have to worry about it as much. And that frees up more time for us to work on like other stuff we want to do later down the line. Like content for you guys. Yeah. Be sure to go <laughs> follow us on Instagram. Last but not least, it says, spend time with people who inspire you. We're our worst influence on each other. We're our best and worst. Being around people who are doing stuff. Right. That's also a big thing. You want to be around people who are also productive because if you're not around productive people, then you're not like driven to produce. I think you know, what I'm trying to say, Avery, is that like you look inspiring. You know who's who's actually a really good accountability person for like us was Kylo. My when dog. we started taking him out on walks, like he would wake up every morning expecting it. Uh -huh. So our in the evenings, he'd be like, "All right, it's time to go," and we're like. Mm, but he like we weren't the only ones forming habits sis it. so yeah this is a seven day challenge but to be honest with you we've continued these habits habits are built over time so just yeah. because you fail one day or don't do everything perfect the one day you'll just get better at it over time mm -hmm. and to be honest with you this is kind of like how i like to live my life now time really do be out here <laughs>
<laughs> and so are we now. And I feel like it really does work. It's opened my eyes to like how much stuff that I could do in the day. And like, we are already like so much more successful than we have been in the past few months in regards to all of the goals that we've been trying to achieve. I think just living your lifestyle in this way makes you productive overall so mm -hmm. even if your goals aren't necessarily career focused even if they're health focused yeah it really does reflect in so many aspects of your life if you're getting plenty of sleep you're gonna have better health you're gonna be more focused you're gonna get more done and you're also gonna be happier we all need a little dose of happiness in 2020 yeah, yes we do <laughs> all right guys well we hope you enjoyed this video check out the links in our description box mm -hmm. be sure to check out our podcast new episodes every thursday it's all in the description box. Smash that like. Give us a comment. Like, <laughs> we don't have one. Let's know if we yeah. should start one. Punch cut. One, two, three.